Greetings, John here with a look at Yakuza 6 in demo form. Anyone picking up a copy of the recent remake should have access to this demo, and it's well worth checking out. As the first entry in the series designed from the ground up for PlayStation 4, we were eager to see what could be achieved. Keeping in mind that this is an early pre-release demo, there is a lot to like here, and a few things that left us concerned. The first thing that becomes apparent is the massive overhaul in lighting, effects, and animation. Yakuza 6 is a huge leap forward in this regard from the previous games in the series, and really helps sell the experience in a way that the originals never could. This is evident from the moment you press the start button on the title screen and watch as the camera smoothly moves through the environment with a cinematic flare before panning down to a familiar alley to find an aged Kiryu facing off against the Chinese Mafia. It seems a man going by the name of Chan is targeting Kiryu and this demo focuses primarily on chasing him down. From following one of his underlings known as the Scarred Man to tracking down his lady friend at a local burger joint, it's a linear affair, but it sets the stage nicely for a much larger tale to come. One of the key improvements stems from a newfound seamlessness. The game now transitions between cutscenes, gameplay, and indoor areas without ever cutting to a loading screen. As cutscenes end, often the HUD will draw over the image just as the player's hand to control. It feels great and sets up some truly epic moments. Beyond that, there is a real boost to the materials, quality, and lighting here. Subsurface scattering is now used on characters, while lots of screen space reflections and cube maps help flesh out the soaking wet streets. They've even included GPU accelerated particles similar to infamous Second Sun, often seen during combat. We also have a massive overhaul in the game's animation system. Character animations now blend much more realistically, and movement carries much more weight. Running around the streets in previous games could feel a tad flimsy at points, but here, Kiryu moves so much more smoothly and reacts to his world much more realistically. The combat benefits even more with some excellent transitions throughout and some cool camera work to accentuate certain moves. This is all combined with a new physics system. Objects placed around the world now become a large part of combat by colliding realistically with the characters. Throw an enemy into a stack of papers and marvel as they float effortlessly through the air. This addition enhances the combat significantly and adds a level of interaction that is quite new to the series. We can't forget the addition of environmental effects such as smoke used liberally throughout the demo either. The camera too is much improved here and offers something more in line with modern games where you can look freely all the way up and down, something that was limited in previous entries. One other truly wonderful feature here that we cannot ignore is the audio. Yakuza 6 makes incredible use of surround sound to really bring you into its world. Early on while moving through a building, I was completely bowled over by the ambient sound swirling through my speaker system. Just a remarkable overall presentation here. That said, there are a few issues with the demo that did leave us disappointed. Coming off the pristine 1080p 60 frames per second Kiwami, Yakuza 6 feels less refined in terms of image quality and performance. The frame rate has been lowered to 30 frames per second instead of 60, and in this demo at least, 30 FPS isn't even maintained in many cases. In fact, many of the game's battle sequences average around 25 frames per second, while lesser drops tend to be encountered during exploration and cutscenes. It would appear that some of these issues are tied to the physics interactions made possible in the new engine. As enemies collide with the scenery and objects go flying every which way, the performance really starts to bog down. Of course, this is still an early build, so it's likely that these dips will be ironed out for the release, but it is disappointing that 30 FPS is likely to remain the target frame rate here. Beyond that, the resolution has been dropped to 900p, while indirect specular lighting operates at an even lower resolution, not unlike that seen in Rise of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One. Taken together, we're left with a game that looks much less clean than the title with which it was included. Clearly, these sacrifices were necessary for the development team in order to reach its objectives, 
but at the same time it does feel a bit regressive coming from higher resolutions and faster frame rates of the other PS4 releases in the series. Still, despite these concerns we can't deny that the demo leaves a strong impression. Despite running for 10 years, the series has not seen dramatic progress from a technical perspective. Yakuza 6 represents only the second major technical overhaul in the series so far. Yet the development team seems to be on the right track here, and it's looking quite nice despite its performance and image quality issues. Anyways, that about wraps up this video, and on that note, this is John signing off. <laughs> ここは何年経っても変わらねえ。いつもの神室町だな。<音楽>